Hello, Flutes. It's Mr. Cronin, and I'm going to take you through um, part of your fundamental warm-ups number two for the week of April 6th. So this will be our long tone number one, our Remington number one, and our flexibilities number one. So we're going to start with long tone number one, and I'm scanning for any rhythms or notes that I may not know. I double check the key signature of this exercise. I see two flats, B flat, E flat, key of B flat. And because of that, I know that all of the notes on the page here are notes I'm familiar with. I have F, I have G, I have A, not A flat, and I have B flat, and that's all. So let's give this one a go. I've got my metronome at 60 beats per minute. Let's move to our Remington number one. Now on Remington number one, I see the key signature B flat E flat key of B flat, so that's a good thing. But I do see three new notes. I see in measure 20 an E marked with a natural sign, so it's an E natural. I see something in 22 that's not actually a new note. It's an E flat, and it's marked with a parenthesis to remind us not to play E natural. I see in measure 26 a D flat, and I see in measure 30 a B natural. So those three notes will be new to us, and we need to um, review our page 46 and 47 to find the fingerings for those three notes. So refer to your Remington number one, measures 20, 26, and 30, and then find those notes in our uh, fingering charts, page 46 and 47 of our book. Again, I've got my metronome very slow, and I want to keep a controlled and steady sound on all notes. Remington number one. Okay, so that went very well. I need to check to make sure of the fingerings of measure 20, 26, and 30, and all of those well. But as long as I get the fingerings, I'm going to say it's okay. Okay, the last thing that I'd like you to do this week as a warm up, and of course you can always do more, but we're going to look together at flexibility number one. Again, I'm checking my key signature, B flat, E flat, key of B flat, so I like that. I'm looking for any new notes. So I see B flat to B flat. This is what's known as an octave jump. And remember for that octave jump, I'm not gonna blow harder. I'm going to adjust the direction of my airstream. Blow up and go from circle to oval in order to get yourself up to those high notes. I happen to see A flat in this exercise. So I'm gonna be sure that I'm using my A flat fingering and I'm reviewing it if needed on pages 46 or 47 of my book. I see G's, we should be good with G's, and I see F's, we should be good with F's. So again, I'm keeping my metronome very slow, and I'm going for the most steady sound I can. Here we go. Flexibility number one.
All right, folks, that's all there is to it. Those are our warm-ups for the week of April 6th, and I'll see hopefully all of us at our Zoom meeting also this week. Take care, have fun.